Number 65. An important source of copper is from the copper ore, chalcosite, which is a form of copper 1 sulfide. When heated, the Cu2S decomposes to form copper and sulfur described by the following equation. So we have Cu2S, which will yield Cu solid plus S solid. So now we have letter C. The production of copper from chalcosite is performed by roasting the Cu2S in air to produce the, the Cu. By combining the equations from parts A and B, write the equation that describes the roasting of the chalcosite and explain why coupling these reactions together makes for a more efficient process for the production of the copper. Okay, so basically we have to combine the equations from part A and part B and write a general equation. Let's first do that. So I already went to part A and I wrote down the balanced equation for the part A, and this one is the balanced equation for the part B with their respective delta Gs that we found. So all we have to do here is just add them together. Now, when we're adding them together, that just means that we're looking for things that can be canceled on, on opposite sides. So I'm looking at this equation, and I'm looking at this equation to see if there's anything that are the same. And yeah, there's a sulfur solid that's on the uh, right side, and there's a sulfur solid on the left side. And it's the same amount. I got one on the left, I got one on the right, so these will cancel out. Can I cancel out anything else? Nothing else is the same. So now I just gather up my reactants, I gather up my products, and I write one nice equation. So the resulting equation is Cu2S. It does not matter which one you say first. I'm just gonna, you know, go from top to bottom. Cu2S plus oxygen gas yields, we have two Cu solid plus SO2 gas. Now, when we do this, we have to take our delta Gs into account. We have to add the delta Gs. So 86.2 plus a negative 300.1. Our resulting delta G standard, which is that notch, for the whole entire reaction, for the coupled reaction, is 86.2 plus a negative 300.1. And I get negative 2... 13.9, and that's in kilojoules. So this is the answer to write the equation that describes this roasting. Now we just have to explain why coupling these up, why actually doing this to produce this net equation is a more efficient process for the production of copper. Well, if I produce the copper this way, my delta G is a negative 213.9. By coupling, so by coupling, we get a delta G that's a negative value, right? Specifically, it's the negative 213.9, but it's negative nonetheless. So by coupling this reaction, I'm producing a delta G that's negative, and remember, a delta G that's negative is, is always a spontaneous reaction. This means that I do not need any additional energy to produce my product. So a spontaneous reaction is always favorable. Now, if I try to produce the copper, because that's what it wants, it wants to produce the copper. So I'm looking at the first equation. If I'm trying to produce the copper without coupling these, so maybe I'll say without, without coupling, what is that delta G? Well, now the delta G is a positive number. It's specifically positive 86.2, but it's positive nonetheless. A positive delta G is non-spontaneous. That means if I wanted to produce this copper by just running the first reaction, I would need to put some additional amount of energy source, probably you know, raising the temperature to make it get done. This is unfavorable. Unfavorable. So 
That's why coupling is more efficient, because when you couple these two together, the overall reaction is spontaneous and you don't have to add any additional extra, you know, outside heat source. Without it, it's non-spontaneous and you're going to have to do something to get that reaction to run. And that's, that's basically the answer. And that's it for this question. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being part of this community. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers and it's all because of you guys. Thanks for being part of the community and go check the channel out. We also have physics and math videos on the, on the channel at the moment. We have like over 4,000 videos for you guys. So go check it out. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.